The one thing he never taught me was about love. And sure, he taught me plenty about helping you out and how I ought to be more selfless and about the Jesus who died for me. But the one thing he never taught me was that love and hate can be best friends. Growing up, you made me think it was one or the other, but not that they went hand in hand, throwing parties together, watching their subjects pass out on the couch. Yeah, you never taught me that. And I don't think you could ever know how hard it is for a child when daddy is supposed to be safe. Daddy was supposed to be the first man I ever loved besides Jesus. But daddy was a crooked man. Daddy was big and comfy and smiling when daddy wasn't angry. Or hurting or defiling me. And could, you couldn't understand how you should have prepared me when at six, the daddy I loved was the daddy I watched beat my mother and put his crooked hands on my sister and at six I had to choose whether it was daddy I love you or daddy I don't ever want to see you again. Well, ten years later and it's evident I chose the latter. My first heart-wrenching decision between love or hate. No, your teachings did not prepare me for that. And then there was Sissy. Sissy was harder, you see, because while you were dancing in court and going and getting a sustainable degree, Sissy was the one feeding me. And while you were leaving us with countless babysitters I don't remember the names of, she was the one teaching me. See, she cared enough to not want me to grow up total white trash, and though she might not have completely hit the target, she tried to teach me to have respect for myself, stand up straight, chew with your mouth shut, and don't walk like a monkey. See, I tried to take that as love because at least she tried to believe in me. With stickers when I done good, and well, I guess I was bad more often than good. But she was trying to make something out of me. To her, she was polishing a gem, when to me it felt like she was just rubbing sandpaper to my nose. And the more she put me down with her twisted idea of how she loved me, it became more and more clear Sissy was a lot like Daddy. So again I found, or rather lost, my sense of where the line between the opposing forces lies, and I couldn't hate the people I was supposed to love. Well then I just have to hate myself, because if these feelings were not feelings I was supposed to feel, the problem must have been me. That is the one thing you indirectly taught me. The one day, I found my own love, the point all youth are supposed to long for, and I just wish you could have taught me was that people didn't have to love with their hands. Maybe I would know if you had been around to tell me, but instead you threw around that word sexualized, the most dehumanizing word in my vocabulary, using it towards me as a child like it had been my fault. So when my first love was depressed, it had to be my fault. And when the only solution I knew was sex, that had to be my fault. And when my love turned to hate, I know it was my fault. So, so mom, I'm sorry. You know I don't like to use that word. It's a four letter word and I didn't mean to use it. So for all the things that you didn't teach me and all the times you weren't there, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say I love you. And I'm sorry that I do. Ooh. Ooh.